You're watching Morning Live on SABC2. Good morning. Welcome to our program. As we say usually, It is estimated that 50 million batteries are consumed annually in South Africa. One triple a battery pollutes 500 liters of water and one cubic meter of land for 50 years. Now, companies and households are urged to place their old batteries in special, easily identifiable bins to avoid unnecessary pollution of our environment. All of us make a decision which affects the environment every time we use an electric appliance, we drive our cars, run a bath, or put out our rubbish. That's according to John Layden, Strategic Business Development Director of Homemakers. He joins us from our studios in Cape Town. Uh, John, good morning to you. Welcome. Morning, Boyo. Also joining us from our studio here in Johannesburg is Michael Rogers, Marketing Manager for Eco. Michael, good morning to you. Welcome. Morning, Thank you for joining us. So, 2,500 tons of batteries disposed of into landfills every year. Yeah. What's the impact? Oh, boy, you know, these, these batteries, when they, they find their way into our landfills, they, they start to corrode, they, they degrade. The chemicals start to spill out. It uh, leaks into our groundwater, into our earth, um, and this takes a number of years to to find its way out of our, our environment. So it's a major impact. And you know, 50 million batteries consumed and disposed of into our landfills is a significant amount. So how do we reduce battery uh, pollution? Well, well, there's, there's two ways of doing it. Firstly, we would urge any consumer to firstly change from normal disposable throwaway type batteries to a rechargeable battery because a rechargeable battery can be used over and over again um, up to as many times as 500 so that significantly reduces the amount of waste going into our landfills um, and then secondly once it does come to the end of its life is to recycle the battery instead of throwing it into our normal household waste yeah what's the kind of lifespan of those kinds of batteries a rechargeable battery yeah. as I said they can be recharged about 500 times so depending how often you're using it you know, if you're using it every day, you can see it's, it's close on two years. Yeah. Let's speak to John in Cape Town. John, what are practical ways of recycling energy, recycling water, recycling rubbish in our homes? Well, I think there are various, uh, various ways for you. And uh, I think it's very important that we look at the uh, education of our consumer, which I think is the most important thing. A simple thing like batteries. I mean, we use them so often. We use them everywhere. But we don't always think uh, that next step as to what we can do with that. But apart from um, the batteries that I think we can save, um, to do the education bit and inform our consumers that these options are available also on recycling, I think we um, have come to a stage uh, where we have to realize that we just got to think a bit. And even with recycling at home, I really think green starts at home. Um, and green can also be fun. And so if the consumers and uh, people out there um, in the daily lives and just think a bit further on, on the saving of the energy, I think really there are fantastic ways and incredible ways that, they can, that we can do that. Sure. So some tips on how to protect the environment, to save some money. You say green can be fun. How can people have fun while greening the environment? <laughs> well, and I... I think we can do that. Uh, we are hosting the uh, Cape Homemakers Expo, which starts today in Cape Town. And we've also invited artists uh, to use green as a theme, um, South African artists, and they've designed the most wonderful things um, that, they, that you can find um, that can become artwork. And I think bring it closer to home um, when we start with the kids uh, and make it fun. Um, I'm getting back to the uh, back to the batteries. Um, it's so easy to take the battery and chuck it in the bin. Um, but I think one can start with the kids and start collecting batteries. We can do these things at school. Um, various other ways exist in our daily lives. I mean, I'm just thinking of another basic one, which can be quite irritating, but it's easy to fix. Is a dripping tap, mm. moving completely away from uh, from the batteries. Um, and the other thing I think you for all just remember when we brush our teeth, uh, close the tap. Yeah. Uh, that will save, I think, also quite a heck of a lot um, of water. And make these things, you can involve the kids, you can in, in, involve the entire household okay. um, in this. And when it comes to recreation, recreate things. 
think okay. of wonderful ways that you can take an old piece of paper, an old piece of plastic, and make something of it and reuse. Okay. But education, I think, is the, um, the, the bottom line that we have to do and, and get our consumers there. And um, like the Homemakers Expo, I think we're the f absolute fantastic platform where people can do that, as we have this year started a section at the Expo, okay. uh, specifically aimed at the consumer, where they can come and have a look in their homes, we are home improvement exhibition, um, and find ways of, uh, of recycling uh, the various products and get information. Okay, let's bring in Michael again. Michael, you've brought the Eco Panda to deliver a battery recycling bin. How are you going to be re uh, rolling out this program? Well, we're, at the moment, uh, we've been very fortunate. We've had uh, the major retailers, like uh, Pick and Pay and Macro, um, who've allowed us to put these uh, recycle bins into their stores okay. as collection sites. Um, so we're encouraging all consumers, instead of to throw their batteries into, into their household waste, to just bring it in. I think most people shop at the likes of Pick and Pay and Macro. Yeah. Um, so when you do pop into the stores, um, take, drop, your batteries, take your batteries yeah. and drop them off there. Yeah. What do you do with the batteries once you remove them from the recycling bin? Well, unfortunately, there's, there's no recycling plant in South Africa at the moment. This is the first uh, that we've embarked on trying to, to make a collection. Um, so we collect them, we sort all the different uh, chemistries, we store them, and then what we do is we take them, we send them overseas to France, um, where there is a recycling plant, um, and we have them uh, recycled and safely disposed and what of. does that mean? What do they do when they recycle? Well, they actually break down the entire battery, so yeah. they, they recover the metals and the chemicals, the various chemicals inside those batteries, okay. um, so that they can actually reuse them again. For, for other so products. So they become a source for other products? For other products, correct. That's quite interesting. Is that the only such factory in the world or there are a few no, others? No, there are a few others, um, but the one in France is, is the closest to us. All right. Thank you very much. Michael Rogers is Marketing Manager for ECO. John Lydon is Director of Strategic Business Development at uh, Homemakers joining us this morning. Thank you very much for your time. Now, in the next...